Okay, so previously I talked about OLS estimator to be blue, that is, it's the best linear unbiased estimator in a finite sample when the assumptions of OLS are met. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the third property of OLS estimator when our sample size is large. And I'm going to talk about the efficiency of OLS estimator, that is, what makes OLS estimator the best estimator. And to do that, I'm going to show you two estimators. Let's assume this is some other estimator and this is our OLS estimator. So as we can see that both of these estimators are unbiased around population parameter beta j. As we can see that both these estimators are unbiased in the sense that the expected value of beta j hat it is equal to beta in the population. That is the coefficient value on average that we will estimate using OLS or this other estimator those are identical. So both of these estimators are unbiased. However, as we can see here that the OLS estimator gives us a minimum variance as shown by the distance between the mean value and any other value. So the variance is smaller for OLS. Hence, OLS is efficient in the large sample as well. But one thing that I want to mention here is that homoscedasticity is required in order for OLS to be blue. But if homoscedasticity is not met, then there may be other estimators, though it may be more efficient than OLS. Later on, we will see that if there is heteroscedasticity in the model, then there may be other estimators, those are more efficient than OLS. And we'll tackle this issue in much more detail in a later chapter. This is the asymptotic efficiency of OLS, that is when n gets larger, then OLS is efficient in the sense that it will give us a minimum variance. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.